This video was sponsored by Manscaped.com, a global brand for men's grooming and hygiene products. Once again, Manscaped reached out and wanted to support this channel with another advertisement, which I am obviously incredibly thankful for. So with a new year comes new hair, and for the purpose of shaving both upstairs and downstairs, you obviously need great working equipment, in which case Manscaped has got you covered with their Performance Package 4.0, which is an all-in-one package deal consisting of the Lawnmower 4.0, equipped with a flashlight and designed with skin safe technology, making shaving smooth and effortless. I personally use this one a lot myself and I find it much easier to use than most other shavers for several purposes. This shaver is also waterproof, so you can use it in the shower or just easily wash it after use. The performance package also comes with the Weed Whacker, which is a super nifty nose and air hair trimmer, and it also comes with the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and also Crop Reviver to both smell and feel good downstairs. The performance package is the best bang for your buck, honestly, and I highly suggest getting it if you're concerned with hygiene or you just want to feel great. So start this year off with a banger and head on over to manscaped.com to get 20% off your entire order alongside free shipping and these two handsome gifts. The link to Manscaped alongside the code back guy will be placed down below in the description. Hello and welcome to the first ever edition to this brand new series called A Newbie's Guide where I showcase the basics for a plethora of topics regarding fitness, health, strength and memory. This series will not only contain basic information but will also revolve around my own experiences, the experiences of others, science and also so lots of dumb weird stuff that we do in the gym and elsewhere. For those of you who are not familiar with me already, I am the back guy, I make memes in an attempt to spread wholesomeness and fun throughout the world through fitness and comedy. So if you want to join the Big Back Army and want to see more of my videos, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications. But now let's move into the very first ever episode of A Newbie's Guide to Lifting. Yeah! So you wake up one day and decide you want to get into shape, whether it be getting stronger, bigger, leaner, it doesn't matter to you. You just want to become a better version of yourself. So what do you do? You sign up for a membership at your local gym, of course. You enter at first hearing the sounds of people grunting, mediocre, slightly cringy music, and the steps of cardio bunnies hitting the treadmill. Chilling on a weekend like usual. Watch a SpongeBob and Scooby Dooby Doo. The locker room is filled with old men, and the jumble rack is being hogged by teenagers wearing stringers. This is the gym. We're not a gym, we're Planet Fitness. <laughs> You don't know it yet, but you've already completed step one just by getting in there despite your obvious prejudice towards the stadium of sweat and iron. The gym will from now on be considered one of two things, either a place filled with delight and enjoyment where you meet like-minded individuals who want to get into shape and have fun doing it, or you're just wondering why you've even succumbed to this playing field and why there's a big-ass Greek guy screaming in the locker room. Now listen, you don't know anything at this point and that's completely fine because even very few of the experienced guys actually know what they're doing. All you need to know is that bench press is good, yoga class is bad. No, I will not further elaborate. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! First of all, you need to get a routine going. Say you want to work out three days a week and want to become both bigger and stronger, in which case complete newbies can be recommended a so-called full body split. This means that you'll do exercises that target your entire body every single session, which can make your training much more versatile and you'll more effectively get to experience different machines and exercises than you would normally just training biceps and forearms. A full body routine will in other words marinate your body and mind in order to get accustomed to the full gym experience, and it will also set you up for a future filled with greatness. Although the topic of exercise selection can vary greatly between individuals and personal preferences, I suggest always starting with the so-called compound movements where there are more than one primary joint moving throughout the exercise, for example such as squats, bench presses or pull-ups. It is common to utilize weights ranging between 75-85% to of your one repetition maximum and do sets of 4-8 to eight repetitions. These exercises will build the foundation for your workouts and strength gains for the larger muscles muscle groups found in the torso and legs. Compound movements are commonly followed by less complex exercises which focus on more particular muscle groups, say chest presses, lateral raises, leg presses, bicep curls or lunges. These exercises may vary more between sessions and the overall fatigue you'll experience will likely not be as severe as with compound movements. 
it is common to utilize rep ranges between 8 to 15 and stereotypically keep yourself between 2 to 3 sets per secondary exercise. And depending on your goals, you could do say 2 to 4 of these exercises per session. Although for compound movements, you should normally take longer breaks in between sets, ranging from 2.5 to 5 minutes. For gym newbies, I suggest taking shorter breaks during both the primary and secondary exercises to avoid stretching out your workouts for hours, which could negatively affect your motivation to actually keep going. 1 to 3 minutes will probably be sufficient for most people. To finish your workout, I suggest doing some machine exercises of your choice. You've worked hard, so you deserve to take a few sets on the calf race machine? Calf, calf race ma calf race machine? Calf race machine? Calf and after you've completed your workout, you may strike up some conversations with your fellow gym buddies if you wish. The big guys tend to have lots of experience, so if you need tips on how to perform exercises or need a spot, they're usually willing to help despite their sometimes grim looking appearances and rather large deltoids. You could also google yourself some free online programs to give your workouts more structure. I would also suggest using other fitness-based YouTubers such as Jeff Nippard, Justin Lee, Athlinex or even John Meadows. I've got an Arnold poster here and this is where I put Fat Derek. Of course, not even these guys will provide you with purely correct information, but there are certainly much better sources of information than your average gym bro or even personal trainer. And if you're worried about doing an exercise the wrong way, or you don't wish to end up in a gym fail compilation on YouTube, I would say not to worry about it because nobody's going to judge you or look down upon you as we're all ultimately in the same place for the same purpose, to improve our physical and mental well-being. Just don't be that obnoxious guy trying to lift more than he can handle or compare yourself to others and you should be totally fine. Now you learn how to effectively complete your first workout, how to structure your workouts, reps, sets and rest time alongside how to seek out information. Now go home and take a shower you filthy filthy gym rat and I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it. Leave a comment down below for the chance of winning a kiss on the cheek. And subscribe if you have not done so already. If you're on the lookout for supplements that could potentially benefit you on your fitness journey, then head on over to MyProtein and use the code BACK at checkout for discounts ranging upwards of 40%. They have everything you need from creatine, whey protein, pre-workouts, gym clothes and accessories. The link to MyProtein is down below in the description. Thank you and goodbye.